Welcome back, everybody. Let's say hello to our band leader and yours, Mr. John Baptiste. Hello, John. How are you? I'm good. That's a happy sound. I love happy sounds. <laughs> that, you know? is, that is, you know, there just isn't enough kazoo in popular music. Maybe that's why I, I still have the will to live. It's a, it's, it's, it's a challenging sound, the kazoo, you have to admit. Oh, yes. It, it's an acquired taste, I'll say. But there's, it's, it's very jovial to say the least. It is. It's, it's lighthearted. It don't take itself seriously. And neither should we. Do you have That's any, right. Do you have any non-kazoo-based music that you might be able to favor this <laughs> fair audience with? <laughs> yes, indeed. That's the side you always walk on. John Baptiste, everybody. Thanks, John. Yes, indeed. Folks, I spend most of my time special ordering the day's newsiest, most topical components like a 10th gen Intel Core i9 CPU, a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme motherboard, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card, then carefully mounting it all in a tempered glass case with liquid cooling, RGB lighting, and 750-watt PSU to build you the sleek, overclocked, custom gaming PC. That is my monologue, but sometimes, sometimes, folks. I like to huff a couple of whippets, hop the razor wire at the garbage dump, strip the cables out of an old light bright, steal the battery pack from a discarded RC copter, and run them to the crack screen of a busted out flip phone to create the Riverside Vagrant Tetris console of news that is my segment. Quarantine while. Quarantine while. New research shows that smooshy faced cats can't show emotion. Oh no! They can't express their full range of normal cat emotions from scornful to condescending to really, you're going out dressed like that? Quarantine while. A man in Brazil recently discovered a rock formation that looks like a cookie monster that could fetch $10,000, which explains this recent episode. C is for cash, now give me my money. C is for cash, now give me my money. C is for cash, now give me my money. Oh, give me, give me, give me my money. The man found the crystal muppet in the Brazil region of Rio Grande do Sul, a location which is Sesame Cannon. We all remember the infamous episode where Cookie Monster went to Rio and got a full Brazilian. Quarantine while. Exciting tech news. Microsoft has filed a patent to create chatbots that imitate dead people by collecting images, voice data, social media posts, and electronic messages, then simulate human conversation through voice commands and or text chats. So they're building these based on people's internet presence? Get ready for a million chatbots that are vacationing in Greece, great at networking, and an uncle with a hot take on Black Lives Matter that you should be okay with because it's all about tolerance, right? This is not a good idea. If you build a chatbot based on my internet activity, you'd think all I cared about was J.R.R. Tolkien and boats, when in reality, I also enjoy alcohol. <laughs> Quarantine while. At the beginning of the pandemic, it was assumed that in nine months there'd be an historic baby boom. Well, in fact, America has entered a pandemic-inspired baby bust. Turns out, no one is saying, hey, you know what being trapped in this tiny apartment with you puts me in the mood for? A screaming infant. Quarantine while. In Oregon, health workers stuck in the snow administered coronavirus vaccine to stranded drivers. They even walked from car to car with vaccine doses that would expire in six hours. Oh, but everybody said, Stephen, don't stand by the highway letting strangers inject you with drugs. Well, who's crazy now? Still me? Because of those drugs? Fine. Also, good luck talking to the hospital and getting them to give you a second dose in four weeks. No, 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 it's cool. I'm all clear from a second shot. I got my first one from some dude on I-95. He seemed legit. Think he was raising money for his baseball team or something? The surprise vaccine appointment had some motorists especially pumped. According to one health worker, we had one individual who was so happy, he took his shirt off 
and jumped out of the car. That sounds like a bro who finds any excuse to go shirtless. We can all see you work out, buddy. There's no need to take your shirt off for a vaccine. They don't pump it into your nipples. We'll be right back with Vigo Mortensen. Thank <laughs> you.